from what you're saying, it sounds like this decision had just as much to do with business as it did with the science. Well, so I, it really had a lot to do with what um, we thought people would be able to tolerate. We have seen relatively low rates of isolation um, for all of this pandemic. Some science has demonstrated less than a third of people are isolating when they need to. And so we really want to make sure that we had guidance in this moment where we were going to have a lot of disease that could be adhered to, that people were willing to adhere to, and that spoke um, spe specifically to when people were maximally infectious. So it really um, spoke to both behaviors as well as what people were able to do. Well, so then I guess the question, if this is based on science that you already had at the CDC, why didn't you make this change sooner than this week? Well, so our guidance was conservative before. It has said 10 days of isolation. But in the context of the fact that we were going to have so many more cases, many of those would be asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic. People would feel well enough to be at work. They would not necessarily tolerate being home and that they may not comply with being home. It was, this was the moment that we needed to make that decision and those changes. It really had a lot to do with what um, we thought people would be able to tolerate. Tolerate.